Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So if you are a subscriber of Sistro on Kofi, then you probably already got a notification that said 2.4 B16 is out. Now, one thing to note is, is that if you go over to the official GitHub repo, you absolutely will not find this release in there at all. You'll just find the official releases. Now, jumping back over to the Kofi page at the new features, it says that there is an improved plugin loader, there is improved FTP, and there is also added game patch plugin support, and then added game overlay with sysinfo. And then added the top gold hen supporters in the about section. And that also in this release, and keep in mind that B15 just came out, and so B16 is brand new. In the B16, they fixed the IP address overlay label position issue. So let's go ahead and let's jump over to the PlayStation 4 and start looking at this in action. And I'm just going to go ahead and run the 2.4 B16. So that is the very latest version that just came out. So there you go. You see the pop-up saying that it has been loaded. Okay, let's head back to the main menu. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go to our settings and gold hen. And let's take a look at these features. So if we go into the game overlay here, there is this brand new option here that says enable sys info. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn that on. And once we turn it on, you can see that there is all kinds of information that comes out of this. So RAM, VRAM, CPU usage, and then a few other things. You can also come down here and you can change the text position from the left to the right. I think I like it on the left. You can also come in with the text color and you can change that. I think I'll just leave mine at white. So with that feature turned on, let's go ahead and load a game and let's see how well that that works. Now it does state right here that you cannot change this value if a game is running. So let's go ahead and let's load up a game. Okay, so there it is. As you can see up in the top left-hand corner, there is the RAM, the CPU usage, the thread count, and then my local IP address. Now, what is pretty interesting with this is, is that now, obviously, as I continue to play the game, I have this overlay up there, but if I wanted to come in and change some of those colors, for example, live, well, then I could do that. I can come back to the gold hen, go back over here to the game overlay, and maybe the only thing that is important is maybe just the CPU. So I may remove a bunch of these other ones, and so now we've only got a few items that will be showing up. I could also change that position. So we'll change it over to the right hand side. Then we'll change the color to green. And so as soon as I get back into the game here, then that has been completely updated. So the next feature here is when you go to gold hen and you go to plugin settings, there is this new option here that's called enable game patch plugin. So basically the enable game patch plugin what that's going to do is make it just a bit easier to get started using game patches. Before, you had to go and write a configuration file, and then it would pick it up. Now, you can just do everything through Golden. So in order to add on game patch plugin support, you just simply need to put a check mark right here. Now, it does state that it can only be activated if the patch plugin is installed at that slash data old hand plugins, etc. And there is a very easy way to go ahead and to do that. So I am just using PS4 Cheat Manager. I will put a link to this down below. And so with this tool, again, you will get everything that you need to match that requirement that we just saw on Gold Hen. 
but you can also update it very easily. So there is an updates in here, and then obviously you could take this one right here for the internet. But if you download the PKG, you will get at least it updated until I believe the end of December. So you get something pretty neat there. Now you could come right in here to the patches and inside of the patches, you can see this is all of the different games that is supported. Now, obviously you can filter just like I had just a second ago. So I've got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 installed on this box. And I can see that there is this option to unlock all in multiplayer, which I've already got set active. So if you combine the PS4 cheat manager with that very latest beta of Gold Hen, then you'll have everything you need for patch support. Now, there was another option that I found that was really neat that was inside of Gold Hen, and that was that there is this Gold Hen supporter list. Now, these are what is considered the top Gold Hen supporters, so I'm guessing these donated more than you know a few bucks in here, but it's always so good to see all of the different names in here. We've got Echo Stretch you know, coming in. We've got Chameleon, myself, Modded Warfare, Nano Speed Gamer, just a bunch of people that we recognize in the scene. So anyway, I think this is a really good idea. I'd love to see other developers kind of giving back to the supporters and showing them, hey, you know, I appreciate you. And really, all of these people now gets to be a part of history because they're now going to be on all kinds of PS4s all over the world. So thank you so very much for watching. I hope you got something out of that. Until next time, Michael out.